Hello guys, this is Hal from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to end today. As you can see from the actual title, we're gonna install Press Shop on Proxmox. We go to make it easy and fast. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. So without any delay, guys, let's go and let's go to the Proxmox. Here I'm gonna show you how to install it by downloading a template from Turnkey. I'm gonna create a cre uh, container. But before I do so, let's go to local, go to city templates. And if you can't find it, unless of course you have already downloaded before, you can find it from the templates list. You can install many different types of applications. And today I'm going to show you how I install and I deploy Press Shop fast using things, this method. Again, you can install Nextcloud media server. There are many types of pre-made templates that you can actually use, including Magento as well. So, as you can see, I'm downloading Presser Shop version 17. Sometimes you get that uh, while you download it, it'll stop. All you got to do is just refresh it or just stop it and download it again. And that should work okay. Wait until the task says it's okay and then clicks on the X. So, you are good to go, ready to deploy the actual template. All right, now that we got the actual template, we can actually start the, you know, the deployment of the container. So I'm going back to the VPS. I'm going to click on create container or uh, create CT. The host name is going to be Press Shop. Again, you can do anything you want, Pressshop.local. I'm going to add to my resource pool. I'm going to add a password and I'm going to confirm the password. Then I'm going to press next. I'm going to choose the actual template. In this case, it's going to be Presser Shop. Uh, Presser Shop. I'm going to press next. I'm going to give 25 gig of disk space. Press next again. One core for what I'm doing is okay. You want to choose two cores. It depends how many cores you really have, okay? Uh, for the memory, I'm going to choose two gigabytes. And for the swap, one gigabyte. I'm going to press next. For IP4, I'm going to choose DHCP. And I'm leaving uh, IP6 as it is. DNS domains is up to you. You can put anything you really like. You can put AA8, one, 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 Or you just leave it blank for your router to sort that out. Once you're done, you click uh, next. And you want to start once it's been created. And click on finish. And that's it. All you're going to do now is wait. Here we go. The task has been completed. I'm going to close it. I'm going to click on the container and then I'm going to go on the console once it is being done. This is the actual terminal where we can actually finish the actual installation of Presta Shop. Again, turn the key, Presta Shop, all the application comes with a copy of Webbin pre installed and, and you know, with the database at the miner, everything you need to get started. Once you are in, the root um, is the actual login for the container. And the password is the one you chose in the each installation. Again, that always change. Okay. So once has been done, as you can see, we are on the Turkey Linux installation page. Here we need to add the add the miner MySQL password. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to confirm it, and I'm going to press OK. Again, I'm going to choose the add the main account. The actual email I'm going to use for to access the administration of a Presta shop, and here I'm going to confirm it. Sorry, here I'm going to put the actual password. Sorry, the actual login was early. I just put my email address. That's my personal email address. But now I'm going to put the actual password, and I'm going to confirm it. Press OK again. Here is the domain of the Presta shop. Again, I'm going to put Presta shop dot local. This is the actual localhost I put in the beginning of the installation of the container. For the API, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to enable that, or you can actually skip it if you want to, you know, you can skip it, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to do the final installation. And that will take a few minutes. Of course, the actual installation speed is based also on your server size. You know? 
how many process you have on the RAM and so on and so forth. Again, now, guys, as you can see, the installation has been done. You got all the information you need to get access to the website, the admin, the webmin, the admin, admin, and so on and so forth. Let's go and have a look webmin. Again, the certificate you need to approve it. Again, you can actually add if you want different type of a certificate. You can upload that as well. I'm going to log in as a root in Turkey webmin. So I can actually show you around. Now again, guys, if you use, for example, Cloudflare, you don't need any um, certificate, SSL certificate. You can use Cloudflare. As you can see, guys, this is the actual webmin. This is at the minor. And to access that, I think it's at the minor. And the password is the one you choose for the MySQL. And you press login, and here you got the information about all the databases, including the Presta Shop. If you need to make any adjustment, again, you also got the um, shell. If you want to access the shell in that way, now we go to add the web part of it of the Presta Shop, and you could do with HTTP and HTTPS again. The actual certificate, all you're gonna do is just go advanced and the proceed. You do get the actual privacy error, I think. That's what you do. But again, just keep pressing it and it'll take you there. As you can see, you got Press Shop up and running on your Proxbox. Let's go and let's have a look at the administration side of it. So I'm gonna copy that. Log uh, sorry, copy and paste. Now to get access you need the admin and the uh, sorry you need the email and the password that you added in the installation right when we went on the terminal so i'm going to add my email address here and my password right so the actual panel is loading now and there we go we are going to log in inside the panel so this is the actual present shop the admin side of it as you can see up and running, no problem whatsoever. We are running this version 1.7 uh, 1783. You got messages, you got custom, you got presser shop maintenance, you got the presser shop modules where you can actually download all the models you need. You can upgrade with one click if you want to, if there is an upgrade or an update. That's how simple this is it. And as you can see, there is one available. But it's up to you if you want to upgrade. Again, this is just a tutorial. I'm not going to upgrade. I'm going back to the actual dashboard. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to summary. And as you can see here, the CPU usage and the memory usage is very, very low. So you don't really need two CPUs, really. You can start with one gig, one CPU. It's up to you, you know. But again, and then you can actually progress and go in and add more, more RAM and more CPU as you actually need it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Again, don't forget to go to my channel, search for Press Shop, where you can find other Press Shop tutorials that I have made. And don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. And I see you next time when I make a new tutorial. And by the way, I don't think I'm going to make a new video before Christmas. So, happy Christmas and I'll see you in the new year.